Welcome, honor guests, to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and this is a comment video. Okay, real quick, yesterday's episode. Um, I want to start off with Brooklyn, real quick. Not nothing big. I noticed when she told Nettie that she was going to manage a blaze. Y'all know I've been said that Blaze and Chase were going to mess around and everything, but for some reason, the old writers didn't pursue that. So I think if Blaze comes back, we're going to see a a love triangle between Chase, Blaze, and Brooklyn. Um, Anna went to the Metro Court to see about the surveillance. I mean, went to Olivia's office to see about the surveillance and stuff, and she couldn't find anything. Of course, we know Nina wiped the server. Um, but I think Anna is suspicious at this point. Let's see. What else? What else? What else did I want to talk about? Oh, Drew. We see today in today's episode, Drew is going to, something is going to happen. We saw that in the 16 second preview. The guard that Drew questioned, you know, to ask to get him the information, the black guy, he lied. He gave him false information. Uh, as a result, we see that something is going to happen to Drew in today's episode. However, we also saw Diane go to Kelly's to let Carly know how close she was to getting him out of there so like i said he's probably going to get hurt and then they're going to get him out of there sam sam went to see willow regarding sasha she let her know what was going on willow agreed to help her get a copy of sasha's toxicology report that's great willow looks so cute in her uniform that's awesome i love it's very rare that we get enough you know new new nurses to gh you know we see them in passing it's like oh this is nurse such and such but this was a big deal and i think it's great um let me see what else what else did i want to talk about oh we know today's the day for uh, the new york trip for trina and spencer so let's get ready for that Oh, Nina also questioned Carly regarding Charlotte's recent visit to Kelly's. She was trying to find out uh, what the girl has been saying, what Charlotte has been saying and how she's been spending her time. So she's really kind of just retracing uh, Charlotte's steps. Uh, Carly calmed the situation by telling Charlotte how much she reminds her of her at Lulu's age. Um I kind of forgot that. Car See, this is crazy, isn't it? Because now it reminded me like, dang, Carly and Lulu are cousins. So that makes Charlotte and Carly what? Second cousins? That is so wild the way the stories put everybody together. Um, she let her know. She says, don't forget that you're a Spencer too. And she really is. And I just think this that was exciting. I really enjoyed that little banter. Uh, let's see. Talked about Drew. Okay, I think we can go on to the comments. Oh, Diane and Robert met for a second. But when Anna came into the restaurant, he left the table um, to give Anna some photos. Because, you know, she lost all the stuff in the fire. So just to give her some photos and stuff. And she was so grateful. But let's go on to the comments. I really didn't like... Um, I don't like the way Robert does Diane for his exes first it was holly and she understands about all of these broads but come on if you're gonna be with me and you're gonna have to put these broads on the back burner they had their chance and it didn't work you still pining after your exes well let's get together and break up so i can get that attention that you're giving your exes because this is ridiculous scorpio absolutely ridiculous Jane Doe is first and says, I'm not exactly sure what to think about Charlotte. There are many possible theories. Yeah, they've now gone and aged her to 15 when she was Aiden's age before when she was tormenting him. Charlotte may have trashed Anna's hotel room, but didn't start the fire. No, I don't think she started the fire. I think maybe Jake helped her start. I don't think she started the fire alone. I'll put it that way. Because if y'all remember, let me see if I can find a picture. I said, because we said it was Alex. It probably was Charlotte. Don't forget, though, you guys, if not Jake, Charlotte, if not both. Valentine said she was only an hour away. She certainly could have taken a ride share um, to Anna, start the fire and hopped back in the car, hopped, hopped in the car with Jake. Who knows? But let's zoom in on the best pictures I could find of the person that started Anna's fire. Remember, we said that. Um, look how small the feet are. Everything is just feet. It's female. Just like the hook killings. Now, y'all know we some bootleg inspector gadgets around here. So I'm just saying. But uh, she concludes and says, 
I lost my place. Y'all know I did. Trash Anna's hotel room and didn't start the fire or do the shooting. So there could be two plus people who are after Anna. The message written on the mirror doesn't make sense coming from Charlotte, though. Uh, the tarot cards make me think that she could be under mind control along with Jake, possibly even more. I expect expected her to pull out a voodoo doll next. I agree about the new writers. Kudos to them. Yeah, they're doing an amazing job. Jake is definitely involved because again, remember I said, why is he even kicking it with her after how she was mean to little Aiden? So is this otherworldly? I think so. Uh, the worldly says, I remember Jack's owning Crimson and telling Nina he gives her all the power without the pressure of payroll and HR. I remember that too, which was their issue because they were open about their relationship and management. Yeah, that was around the time. Their relationship was really brief. Uh, Linda White is in the house. She says, Ned confesses to an affair with Monica in 07. Um, you like me to read Mr. Ashton. Uh, what would you like to amend your answer? We were friends. You were intimate. Fired objection, weren't you, Mr. Uh, Ashton? Please overrule. Uh, I'm a little bit confused on this one, but I do know that Monica, everybody knows about Monica and Ned's affair. Jacarly, just say I'm in the house, says, let Dex be who he is. He doesn't need to be Jason or anyone else's son. I couldn't, I'm sorry, it couldn't be Courtney and Jason. She lost her baby. Yeah, you know, we've been throwing around all types of possibilities of who Dex could be, who he could be related to. At this point, because so much time has gone on, it's fine if he's just who he is. I really don't care. We have characters come in that way. Hey, speaking of characters, we don't know who they is or who they can to. What happened to Curtis's physical therapist? Like, I get it that he left physical therapy um, early, which was ridiculous. But shouldn't they make it like the physical therapist come to the house because he was hitting on Jordan? I think that is so unfair. Hopefully the new writers will pick up on that. Miss Maxwell is next. I don't know what is going on, on my screen. Miss Maxwell says, uh, I hate that Billy Miller died too. I have to wonder why so many young men are, are getting strokes and myocardiosis. It sucks. I had my son when I was young and he's 40 years old. Um, as it feels like his life is really just getting started. I feel horrible for his family. And the worldly response it says, agreed on the men in our lives dying young. The book of life reads the youth will be born weaker, but wiser. We often say babies act like they've been here before. Yeah, because I swear, I think my little baby Karen have been here before. He seems to be so smart and yeah. Um, Let me see who is. Oh, Jacarly Jasam is back and says, I think it's Alex too. That's going after Anna. And yes, Drew on Crimson. I still, now I don't know. Now that they thrown Charlotte, I think we're, we might have to take Alex out of this equation, you guys. These new writers are going places that we didn't think they were going to go. 76 Drum says they need to come clean about Charlotte. Um, They don't realize how far she is willing to go down this path of evil. I love this. It's so fun. Now, I know that the new writers don't like to drag out storylines, but this is the end of September, pretty much October at this point. It's almost my tulip's birthday. Um, I would think that they may drag it out up because it's Halloween time. Because remember, we were really hoping to get an end to um, the hood killings around Halloween time, and we never did. Also, and as well, it is not lost on me that we did not get a quarter main picnic this year. What happened? Or did, what happened to that? Put that in the comments, if y'all remember, because Olivia was getting it set and everything. Did I miss something? No, we didn't have a quarter main picnic. Um, of the worldly response to you, 76 Trump, it says, Valentine's, Valentine's look and how he was shaking his was shaking as Anna had to help him to the door. Let us see. He's getting an idea of how devious the brilliant, how devious his brilliant daughter can be. Yeah, remember when she told him in that kitchen, she said, Papa, oh, Papa, you don't know me very well. And he looked like he was about to throw up. 
Linda White says Blair burned down Anna's house. Shocking revenge plan is revealed. What would um Blair have to do with Anna? Um, Linda, I can't figure like now, nah, I know you like to go off on the rails on me and with your theories, but try to connect the dots for me. You know, I'll play along. Uh, hey, Camille King. Camille King says, can I adopt the new writers? Is that a thing? Uh, can I do that? I know the new writers. Oh, I'm just worried about when this strike is over, what is going to become of our new writers? What is going to happen to them? LaShanta, hey girl, she says, uh, uh, she says, oh, I missed you. Oh, thank you, honey. I've been checking for you. I'm over Pikeman, Valentina, Anna. Nicholas always about his ends. Yeah, but he knows Spencer low down. Nina is dumb not to tell Sonny. Maxie was right to fire Brooklyn. Nicholas is going to get his fortune and marry Esme to stay out of jail. Oh my God, that's a good one. Windermere should have never went to Ava. I can't wait until her and Nina get I can't wait until Nina get hers Cody saved Sasha now cleared them of these charges why nobody went to Sunny Sunny has snakes everywhere I hate Tracy but Lucy did vote Valentine in I knew Marty stole that idea from Blair yes Martin ain't for that he should have came clean with um Lucy and let her know exactly who his ex-wife was, what she does, and then Lucy could have made the decision whether or not she wanted to go forward with the deceptor. Um I think I don't know if I read it in the last comments or if it's in this one. But Linda White said that Sasha, she thinks Sasha and Cody are related. And I totally kind of agree with that. I'm getting there, Linda White. See what I'm saying? Linda White be saying some stuff, y'all. But sometimes it can make sense. Um, let me see what else real quick. Yeah, Brooklyn. I'm. She's. She's. I kind of been over Brooklyn a while ago, to be honest. Okay, Stephanie C has a lot. A lot to say. So let's get to it. She says, "I'm enjoying the new writers. I think Sprina will always have something, although." The course of true love, or any love for that matter, never runs smoothly. They're always going to be drawn to one another. I may be wrong, but that's my opinion. So sorry to hear about John J. York. Love his character. Hope he gets what he needs and has full healing. Hope he returns healthy. Sprina in New York, make it happen. Well, today is the day. Nicholas is coming back to his mansion and his son. Um... Oh, yeah, to go back to what, what your college just said. I, I didn't mean to skip over it. Um, about Nicholas and Esme getting married. Oh, yes. Oh, definitely, yes. That's why she keeps their, the writers are making like, well, where's his dad? She's, because she doesn't remember. So as far as she knows, she just wants a family. I don't think she cares anymore that this is the father of her ex-boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? So she definitely will. They will contest. Um, Nicholas will come back and contest, you know, for Windermere and the rights to Casadine. I do believe that. Um, but I don't think he's going to win. I don't think it's going to last because Spencer has lost his home so many times. If these writers, they're very good. And I really do think that Spencer is going to remain. I think it's going to be a fight, a very good fight with Trina by his side. Diane in his corner, the rest of the Spencer clan in his corner, Sonny. But I do think that it's going to be a battle and it's going to be Esme and Nicholas against everybody. Put it in the comments. High five. Oh, y'all be killing it. OK. Um, she says Alex is messing with Anna. Lois is supposed to return. Uh, return. Will she make a play for Nettie? Blair's back looking fabulous as always love her on one life to live tracy and lucy battling it out really hope lucy doesn't lose the company i would uh, she says oh i would love dante spencer and christina to take over sunny's business when avery gets older she can get it also nina Nina is about to get hers. carly giving a lot of advice ava nina she did commit a crime and should be grateful She's not behind bars. Sick of Austin, his cousin, Ava, Gladys, and the Dr. M. Also, Miss Wu will get her soon, I think, although I kind of like her. See, I really think that Miss Wu is once again going to come in and save the day, and we're, we not, we're not ready for it because they're setting her up to be a villain. But let's not forget, Miss Wu is the one that really helped save the territory 
when Carly took over, you know, with Jason and everything. So Miss Wu could actually be the saving grace that we need for Pikeman, Cyrus. Don't get it twisted. It's going to be a, another fight for Sonny. But I do believe Miss Wu will have his back at the end of it all. Um, okay, let me see. Was that it? Did I get everybody? Yep. Oh, I got everybody. Um, y'all had a lot to say in the next comment video, though, for sure, because this is really long math. Belk is going to start us off. I'm telling y'all now she's first because she had a lot to say, too. I just can't fit it all in to this video, Belk, because... Y'all know I'm working on this phone and my storage is very limited on this phone. So I'm trying to like, I'm, I'm nervous that this is not going to make it. So thanks for listening to me, Jen Hens. Please hit the like before you leave. Belk, you're next up in the comments and I'll catch y'all there.